and stitching it again. I'm not going to try to match a pattern here, so don't oh, come to on. That. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, okay? <laughs> yeah. I thought we were in for a show. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, press in half. Pressed. Pressed against Pressed the edge. Oh, okay, like you did before. Okay. Okay, so then okay. I'm going to trim this down. Listen. And you're trimming the opposite end. Well, I'm going to eventually trim both of them. Okay. okay there's that. And this. Oh, okay. So you're essentially making it the width of the 7 inch That's correct, yes. And so then, um, see, you have the thread. Did they ever get them manufactured? Oh, there they are. I, I sincerely hope so. I, okay. I really have been. This, my, my, my friend Rebecca is helping her do this because this company that she's working with, quite frankly, I think they're taking taking her advantage of her. Mm -hmm. Because Rebecca was saying, for, for what she's paid, we should have merchandise by now. And so mm -hmm. I said to Rebecca, could, I would look upon it as a personal favor if you would help her with this, because we want to get this done. So I haven't. What is she doing? Recreating my toolkit. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> it is really, and I'm really wanting one, because this one's getting a little bit ratty looking. You're basing your clothes essentially. Just yeah, just to hold the layers together so I don't have to fight them later. So is there a reason why you're hand basting versus machine basting? Because it's easier to okay. control for me. Some people like machine basting in this case, you know. Because some people, you know, the people who turn themselves inside out trying to keep from hand basting and it's like really <clears throat> you can you can waste a lot of time doing that or you can just hand sew it. So I prefer to hand sew on. Okay, so I'm just shave that down. Okay. Just press it one more time. Okay. Let me go over and do it. Okay. 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 okay, there we are. <laughs> okay. Next, marking. Proper marking. Love these chalk. Those are clover. Clover made these. I don't know if they make. I don't know if they make this particular one, but they have, you know, they have different styles. I have clover another style. I can't remember whether I bought one here or not. Okay, so yeah, half inch. Okay, that's measuring from the stitch in. Yeah, the fold. The fold. Yeah. So then we can get the length. Okay, and then, yeah. and these oh, okay. together. Same principle. And this is where I would baste it again, because there are times I do like to baste. And I do love this thread. Here's a piece of Oh, there. beautiful. Thank you. When I did that uh, that dress sh thing for Berta, when they were before we filmed, the the, the camera guy said, "Do you have any red thread?" I said, "Will that work?" <laughs> I think they were all very happy happy to see that. So, yeah. That's just a standard thread, but a fluorescent color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can it glows in the dark practically. Yeah.
start right on one end. So really short stitch for about a half inch, then go back to your default stitch. Would this be the same way you would do a breast coat, you know, a... Uh, no, that's a whole other different one. On a jacket? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so oh, then... Oh, there you go. See, see, I've already seen that, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a whole ah, bunch we of them, Monica. Well, now we're going to have the, the one with the... Yeah, and so then this would be your yeah. pocket. Yeah. So we're going to pin the pocket right sides together, turn this over, and... interfacing on the back? Yeah. So I would have thought, not knowing, obviously, that a welt pocket was a welt pocket and you could just put it wherever it needed to be. Well, there are different, you know, different welts for different purposes. And the, a trouser welt is a kind of a different animal. If you've really looked at the men's trousers. It's a variation of the, of the double welt that we did mm -hmm. earlier but instead of tulips, there's only one. And okay. so it, it, it cuts a little, it sews and cuts a little differently. So what I'm gonna do here is use the, the there we go. I'm just gonna use the ruler to find the edge of that seam allowance. Okay. 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 This is where. So we're going to the very, very, edge, the very edge of the well. Right. Okay. Ah, there we are. That's the cut edge. Cheeky boos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, first we're going to sew again on this line of stitching that we used to sew the welt to the body. So this time it's picking up the pocket back. That's correct. like about this foot is you can really finely adjust the relationship of the uh, foot to the needle. And then what we want to do is we want to sew. Again, make sure that that is square. So what the foot is doing is keeping the nope, wrong one. The foot is keeping it's riding on the cut edge of the seam allowance. Mm. You're feeling that. Yeah. yeah. But you're not catching it in the seam. That's correct. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Just yeah, you're just a, a hair needle outside away. Of it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Sort of a guideline. Yeah. So good. Okay. Oops. Do you pink your interfacing? I do. Okay. okay now, this is <clears throat> where we will. Good scissors. Long triangle. 
Interesting. And you're just cutting through the bag right now. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll flip it over and cut through the, the body. Just through the body. You don't want to cut through the weld yet. seam allowances through and pull pull this through between the layers. Hmm. Okay, you with me? Yeah. <clears throat> wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. So now so now pressing. It's so big. <laughs> this is where I would use a pressing cloth and press from the front. This one is not in there. This is something that I had to figure out recently. But the other ones, yes. I gotta find all the samples I need. Yes. So then I went I went up here, I went up my little jacket. I just I have pants that I want to do. So so it's not sure? perfect. I need. I always like to practice on. I like to do a practice pocket before I go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, on a real pant, would you have done no, a lining? No, I, I mean, match the lining. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask. Oh yeah. So is this is what you're practicing next, or you just wanted your sample? Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. Yeah. All my clothes are falling. Yeah, you got some. So then here. I can never sell this sewing machine. Can it touch it? Well, we're not we're not we're not washing. I'm never washing mine. Because he's used to hers. Yes, we told him we can't wash it. He just pulls his hair. Says these crazy women. It's okay. I don't mind. Crazy. You know, if someone like John Galliano came to my studio and sewed on my machine, I'd feel the same way. Yeah, I understand. We all have our heroes. Oh, somebody had interfacing. Okay, yeah. so that we did it the right Yeah, I would use a fusible Pellon. That's a little easier to see. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> fusible Pellon versus knit. Yeah. yeah. And I hate that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. 
Because this this was the, this. this is a little bit try it kind of we were having a difficult well I was having a difficult time figuring out which was the sticky side. Which oh was gosh. The side. Oh. So you're talking about a woven or non-woven interfacing versus a knit. Not perfect, but you get the idea. Very close. Yes. And so then what I would do is on the uh, underside, you would make an applique. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh. So oh, you don't check see that out. the. Yeah. Would you yeah. Also and, then, and then after you've sewn the pocket, you would come back in here. So. And, well, anyway. You could either top stitch yeah. there, okay. You do an edge stitch there, or you could pull this back and sew Just the seam right, right there, right there, there, there. Right. okay. Yeah. That would hold that hold it, down, pull that, that, and it would yeah. hold it closed. Do you make an interior gusset in the pocket again on this? No, not on no, these. This is a, like for back trouser. Okay. Yeah. You know, the, generally what you see for a guy's trouser is one doesn't have a button, but the other one they'll, mm -hmm. they'll put the buttonhole right here. Okay. So, you know. If you worry, if you're worried about gaps, you would just put a button and buttonhole okay. right there, mm -hmm. or you would make a tab mm -hmm. with the button oh, yeah. and you would oh, sew yeah. it in here so it comes down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it's sharp. Beautiful. That is sharp. Yes. Actually, I just pointed. Now, have you ever done matched. it on a forty-five degree angle so the stripe is? You mean cut the thing on the bias? Yeah. yeah, you could do that. I mean that should be Yeah, because okay, the right? ribbon, the ribbon. Oh, you did the, the ribbon against. Yeah, I missed yeah. the hot side. Yeah, and so you know you don't see the that, you don't yeah. see the, the yeah. stitching because that's on the inside. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, nice. Yummy. Thank so you. So do that.